welcome everyone to my youtube channel and we are going to talk about aws ec2 interview questions so basically aws ec2 is very important service in aws you can say a pillar of aws which provides you uh, like uh, compute service virtual machine on demand and it supports various operating system whether it's linux any distribution of linux like suze or uh, like multiple red hat linux options and windows and others okay and this is highly scalable and secure and it's cost effective okay so these all about things are related with what is amazon ec2 basically then another question is like uh, what are the instance type you can launch with amazon ec2 so the answer is like uh, various options available like general purpose compute optimized memory optimized accelerated computing and storage optimized okay so the free in the free trial you will get like a t2 micro the type has been written here like type t2 micro then another is m5 which is for balanced and good for consistent workloads then you have compute optimized like c5 with a high ratio of compute to memory c is for compute for learning purpose like uh, memory optimized r4 and x1e good for in-memory database and uh, good for full in-memory com applications computing then accelerated computing good for graphics and gpu usage p3 okay then storage optimized like h1 i3 and d2 so these are the options available with ec2 to launch these instance type now let's move to the new question what is storage options available with ec2 so here are three options available with ec2 one is amazon ebs then another is s3 amazon s3 then you can also add additional storage and you can also use like uh, amazon ec2 instance storage okay so there are four type of storage available by aws basically so let's talk about the first one ebs so it is durable block level storage volume and it can attach in running ec2 instance after an ebs volume is attached to an instance you can use it like any other physical hard drive okay now uh, you can take backup of uh, ec2 instance on ebs also okay and ebs encryption feature supports encryption uh, features and other features okay now uh, let's talk about ec2 or like native uh, instance store so a storage disk that is attached to the host computer is referred as ec2 instance store okay so this storage provide temporary block level storage for ec2 instances the data on instance store volume persists only during the life of the associate ec2 instance if you stop or terminate an instance any data or instance store on the volume will be lost okay you need to keep this in mind then other options available are like amazon s3 which provides you access to reliable and inexpensive like data storage basically less cost effective you can say it is very cost effective and less expensive it is designed to make web scale computing easier for you like uh, to the customer to store and retrieve any amount of data anytime from anywhere okay then another option is like adding additional storage every time you launch an instance from an emi okay emi a root storage device is created for that instance now that root storage device contains all the information necessary to boot the instance okay then you can specify like uh, what is the volume you want to add uh, to the root device that time like 8 gb will be the like a uh, uh, default size you can increase it okay so these are the options available basically while launching the uh, ami and uh, you will get it as a storage options with the ec2 instance okay now let's move to next question uh, like uh, this is uh, interview question and also for your practice purpose also like a uh, multiple times uh, interviewer can ask you like uh, how you connect uh, ec2 with your windows machine like on your windows machine how you connect with the ec2 instance so the answer is like you can use putty which is a third party tool on your local machine you can install it you can get the instance id from the aws console get the public uh, dns name of the instance locate the private key now you need to inbound uh, in enable the inbound ssh track from your ip address so basically you need to enable it in your security group okay and uh, you need to convert the uh, your like private key using put gen so it will be converted into ppk and uh, later you can start the put session by using that ppk file and uh, dns name of the instance okay and you will be able to connect with your ec2 instance so uh, next question is like a very important question it will be asked 
many times in the interview like uh, what is the difference between ec2 and lambda so lambda is basically a serverless computing while ec2 is a managed computing so you need to manage everything in the ec2 like uh, once you create a uh, instance you need to manage it for the security for patch update for anything installation you need to manage it but in lambda all things will be managed by the server uh, aws server okay and uh, if the security is better in Lambda because it's managed by AWS itself, while in EC2, we need to manage it every time. Lambda gets time out by 15 minutes. In Lambda, the dependency can be stored maximum of 5 to LMB, while in EC2, as uh, we, I told you, like various storage options are available. So you can have the flexible amount of memory as per your requirement, and uh, you can get more memory than Lambda in EC2. Okay. Now the question is like, what is auto scaling in EC2? Auto scaling basically it help us to maintain the application availability in like availability zone. If you know about like uh, where you can create multiple instance. So suppose if one instance got fail uh, due to some reason, then another instance will be available. So it allow us to automatically add or remove instance according to condition we define. And we can use the fleet management feature of EC2 is auto scaling to maintain the health and availability of our fleet. Fleet means here various EC2 instances connected for that particular application that we are hosting in the AWS. Okay, so Once these are the EC2 questions that we have covered for this uh, session. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe us and comment down below. Uh, if you need more EC2 question. Really